We are now in West B and this is actually a 100 kilowatt charger from Delta. So I'm going to demonstrate now uh, whether the, the Chatham adapter can handle 100 kilowatt or not. Well, according to the spec, it can only handle 50 kilowatt. And it actually says on the adapter that it can take up to 125 amp and up to 450 volt, but the battery can't go up that high, at least not in Tesla. And you see here, you have this option to choose, like, default, it's on uh, like single power, and then if you press this button, it will output double power. So uh, we're gonna test now how it goes. With the uh, first test is with single power. So the power ramps up. See, 125. I've never actually seen that high on any charger. Usually I get like 110 to 115. So this is like the highest I've seen. But uh, we would like to get 250 amp. So let's try that double button. Okay, this is with double power. So let's see what happens. Standard procedure. Okay, ramps up. And is it same? Yeah. So it is the adapter that is the limitation. The, the charging station, at least I've tested it before, it could charge at least 70 kilowatt on a Hyundai Ionic. So, but that was on the CCS plug, and well, uh, I have to test more this one because uh, someone told me that they actually um, they uh, cut down the power on the Chadmo plug to be only 50 maximum. So uh, yeah, we don't know. Um, I will probably use um, a Kia Soul to test it because Kia Soul can support up to 100 kilowatt on the Chadmo plug. But um, uh, in order for Tesla to charge at 100 kilowatt on this charger and the future chargers, they probably have to make uh, like a next generation Chalamo plug or even better uh, if they can make a CCS plug because CCS seems to be more like the accepted standard, at least in Europe. All right, so this was pretty interesting. And of course, the, the, I made this video because uh, many people ask me about it and they wonder like, can you go higher? You know? So, nope. Unfortunately, it can't go high with the Chalamo adapter. Alright, that's it for now.